Uh, what's good, everybody? Uh, so obviously today we're gonna be breaking down uh the opponents of the New York Giants and why I think that they will miss the playoffs, despite having a great record. I think they they'll have a okay record, but that won't be enough because I think of their division opponents and then plus the teams that they have to go up against. Now, obviously, I know I went over the New York Giants record. I mean, not record. I know I I knew I know that I went over the New York Giants schedule when they came out. But um, we're gonna do it again. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that I have everybody on the same page. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, we kick off the season against the Broncos at home. Now. The Giants, the one thing about the Giants, they're never good at home. They really aren't. Uh, they're more battle-tested on the road than they are at home. And that's something that a lot of people gloss over. You know what I'm saying? So, starting their season off, uh, I'm not going to count the wins or the losses. I'm just going to, you know, go into a few details. Uh, the Broncos' defense... Is bar none, you know, with Von Miller missing the whole entire season, he's coming back. He got a chip on his shoulder. Uh, they got two solid cornerbacks out of Patrick Sertain and Harris. Okay, uh, so that's probably going to be a tough matchup, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I already went over the record, but I'm gonna do it anyways, you know, just to clarify. Okay, so. That's an L right there, okay? The Washington football team. Now, again, a lot of people want to go back to the past. Oh, we beat them last year. We swept them both at home and on the road. I get it. Look who their quarterback was last year, okay? I'm not saying that Patrick, I'm not saying that Pat Magic Fitzpatrick is the second coming of Aaron Rodgers, but... He'll win you enough games to keep you upright. You know what I'm saying? He's not, you know, one of these quarterbacks that the Washington football team had. He's not a, a, a Josh McCown. He's not a, a John Beck. He's not a, you know, Donovan. Well, I'm not going to say Donovan McNabb. Uh, he's not a Jason Campbell. You know what I'm saying? So with that defense, knowing that how embarrassing the Giants gave them last year, I wouldn't be surprised if the Washington football team reversed the flip. You know what I'm saying? Karma, karma is a B, so what goes around comes around. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be surprised if the Washington football team beat the Giants twice this year. Okay? Uh, so that's an L. So we start off the season 0-2. Now this is where it gets interesting. Okay? The Falcons, we all know the Falcons are very good at home. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. When they on the road, they struggle a lot. They're more of a dumb team. So, even though Julio Jones is out of that lineup, he's no longer there, I think Matt Ryan is going to spread the ball around. You're going to see the difference in Matt Ryan that you haven't seen in years. You know what I'm saying? Because of Julio Jones is not there. And once you have a superstar like a Julio Jones, like a Odell Beckham Jr. when he was with the Giants, like Antonio Brown, they're more dominant divas, you know what I'm saying? They want more, you know what I'm saying? So it's not really, you know, benefit for the team, you know what I'm saying? Because that ball is just going to one person. It's not spreading the ball around. And once you spread the ball around, you'll see how effective this offense can be. But since they are away, I'm going to give the advantage to the New York Giants, okay? The Saints... Again, the Saints, I don't trust James Winston. Um, the defense have always been historically bad. Uh, they only had like two great solid years when they had a great defense. I, I think that was in 2016 or 17 or 18. And the other one is where they won the Super Bowl with Drew Brees in 2009 or 10. Okay, so I see the Giants winning that game. Uh, the Cowboys... Um, we are way on that game. We at Dallas Stadium. I think we will split the series with the Dallas Cowboys. So after going 0-2, I, 
I see us going one, two, three. So I have us going on a three game winning streak. So I have us going three and two. Okay. And then obviously the LA Rams is going to shut it down. They're going to bring us back to reality and we're going to lose this one. We already know Matthew Stafford. You know what I'm saying? He's been here before. He knows what it takes. He has that defense, again, just like the same scenario as Teddy Bridgewater. If you surround Matt Stafford with a great defense and a solid offense, he can't become great. You know what I'm saying? And obviously the Lions have failed to do so. Giving him one weapon out of Calvin Johnson. Yes, Calvin Johnson was big time, but he didn't, they didn't work together. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that they didn't work together, but they didn't win enough games. They didn't win enough playoff games, you know? Um, so, yeah, so we at home against the Panthers. I think we're going to snap. Yeah, no, not snap, but I think we can win that game. Uh, listen, um, whoever the quarterback is, I forgot his name. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The Panthers, the Panthers are the Panthers, you know. We have some classic battles over the pan over the years with the Panthers. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially that 2007 playoff game when we in overtime, epic, epic, epic. Uh, so we gonna win there. KC, we on the road against KC. Uh, we at Kansas City Chiefs, so that's gonna be an L. Okay, and then we close the nine game stretch with the Oakland Raiders. Which, again, I believe that the Oakland Raiders are going to have problems with our receivers. Uh, they have no pass rush. Uh, they're suspect on the offensive line. So I think that we can win this game at home. So after nine games, we have one, two, three, four, five. One, let's see, one, two, three, four. So... Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So after nine games, we're five and four. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so now, boom, 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 fast forward. We have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, obviously, last year, we lost against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. Monday night game. You know what I'm saying? That crucial last second throw. You know, there's a lot of, you know, ups and downs and stuff. We had our chances to take the lead. It didn't go by. You know what I'm saying? Tampa Bay brought back all of its players from last year. I think the last team to do that was the New England Patriots when they won back to back. Okay? So we're probably we're gonna lose against Tampa Bay. No shame in that. They are all the Super Bowl champions. Okay? And then after that, we at home against the Philadelphia Eagles. I think we will beat the Eagles. Uh, despite their slow start, I think their secondary is a suspect. I think we can beat them with ease. Okay, and then week number 13 at the Dallas, at the Dolphins. Look, the Dolphins play hard. Whether you want to say they're this and that, you know, you know, Eli Manning, if you look at Eli Manning's career against the Dolphins, it's a no show. I think he's like four or five you know, 4-0 or 5-0 against them. So the Giants have always had no problem with the Dolphins. But things change, you know what I'm saying? So don't don't underestimate the Dolphins, you know what I'm saying, on the road. So I think the Giants are going to drop an L, you know what I'm saying? And uh, week number 14 against the LA Chargers, again, an up and rising team. But I think our offense is just going to be too much for their secondary. Even though they got one elite pass rusher, I think if Daniel Jones can get the ball off his hands quicker and faster, it slowed him down. You know what I'm saying? So I think we can get the win there. Cardinals, same thing. You know, um, Cardinals have a very great defense, adding J.J. Watt. You know what I'm saying? I think they added uh, Javani and Clowney, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they still got Larry Fitzgerald. They still got that quarterback. Uh, I forgot his name. But they got him as well. Uh, and then they got DeAndre Hopkins as well. So their offense is going to be legit. But I think their secondary is going to struggle. And we could take over from that. 
Okay, and then after that, week 16, we at the Eagles. I think that's a loss. And then uh, week 17 against the Bears. I mean, we uh, week 17 at the Bears. I think we can chalk up a W. And then week 18 at home against the Washington football team. I think the Washington football team is going to beat us. So we are one, let me see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are ten and that's a loss. No, yeah, that's a loss. That's a loss. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have the Giants with a ten and eight record. But because of their division record, they're gonna be two and four because obviously they're gonna split against the Cowboys, split against the Eagles, and obviously they're gonna get swept by the Washington football team. So their record is gonna be four and two. And the result, they're going to need some help from other teams to get into the playoffs. Like, they might probably need, like, a bad team to face. Or they might probably need, like, a, a bad team to beat, you know, a good team in order in order for them to make the playoffs. Or they need, like, three things to happen in order for them to make the playoffs. Or four teams, or four things to happen to, in, order for them, for, eh, in order for them to make the playoffs. So... Uh, if you know the 2010 season, we went 10 and 6, but again, we needed the Chicago Bears. Remember, we needed the Chicago Bears to beat the Packers Sunday night. What happened? The Packers wound up beating the Bears, so we were mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. So, history repeats itself. I can see the same scenario. We finished 10 and 8, and uh, we can, we finished 10 and 8, but Obviously, due to our division record, because your playoff record, I mean, not your, your your regular season record and your division record have to match, you know? Like, you can't have a good, uh, you can't have a good uh, regular season record in a future defen- uh, d- division record, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, despite our, despite our good record with 10 and 8, our division is bad because we got swept by Washington twice. And then we split the series against Cowboys and Eagles. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to need probably like four things to happen or three things to happen um, in order, you know, in order for the um, in order for the Giants to make the playoffs. So, yes, I have the Giants winning 10 games. Um, but it's not going to be enough because of our division record, you know. And if anybody knows football, that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, till next time, take care of yourself and each other.